Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and today I am here with a new video in Salesforce Flows. And uh, basically in today's video, I'm going to talk about how do we display or how do we show custom error message for a record trigger flow in Salesforce. So finally, Salesforce has implemented the allow customizations of error messages for the record trigger flows. What exactly a custom error message element is? So the custom error message element, it lets you to create an error message for your end to show on Salesforce flow. The, whenever any error occurs, the associated record chain will be rolled back and the error message will be displayed. And the error message can be created for before save and after save flows. So the question comes, when to use error messages? The best use case of using custom error message element is for doing any BML on a record trigger flow and show customized message to the end user. Before this functionality, before this feature, uh, before this, when flow failed, there was no possible, there was no possible way that it was not possible to show user friendly messages to end user. But now, in the update, uh, like in the release of Salesforce, in winter 24 release of Salesforce, this is possible or we can display a specific error message by using custom messages. So let's take up a scenario and we'll see how to display a custom message in a flow. So first of all, let me tell you the requirement here. My requirement here is, as you can see, there, there's a candidate object. And in this candidate object, there's an age field. As you can see, there's an age field in candidate object. Here's the age field. So my requirement is whenever we create a new candidate record or whenever we update an existing candidate record and if we update the date of birth field and if the age is less than 25, I would like to display an error message by using flows. Now that error message can be displayed on a flow screen or it can be displayed next to the, like it can be displayed on the top of the page or it can be displayed next to that particular field. So this we can achieve by using validations also, but validations are limited to only to that particular object. Let's suppose if you want to, sir, if you want to perform some validations based on a field from another object that is possible by using flows. So let's see how do we do this. So for this, first of all, I'll we I'll let's navigate to setup and I'm going to look for flows. Flows. Click on flows. New flow. And here I will be going to create a record trigger flow. Because the requirement is every time we edit a record, we modify a record or we update a record or we create a new record. If the age is less than particular, if the age is less than that, we would like to display an error message. So therefore, I start from scratch, record triggered flow, and I want this flow to be executed on candidate object. Candidate object, and whenever a record will be created or updated, no condition. And uh, okay, one condition I can say that the date of birth field cannot be left. Blank. So I would like to trigger this. The date of birth cannot be left blank. So I would like to execute on that. So I just put a condition here that if the date of birth field is null equals to false, it should not be blank. Let me save this flow. And I label this as custom error trigger flow on candidate object. Save this. Now, as soon as we run this, I just wanted to display an error message. So therefore, I'm going to put a decision block. And on decision block, I just write validate age. Age less than 25. And I put a condition here that if the age is, if the age is, if the age is 
less than 25, I would like to display an error message, less than 25. And default outcome, age greater than 25. Age greater than equals to 25. So we have two conditions. Uh, yeah, less than 25 and less greater than equal to 25. Save this and close. And now I just wanted to add display an error message. If the age is less than 25, I would like to display an error message. So I click plus and I'm going to display a custom error here, custom error. So we can create a custom error message to show on a record page or a specific field on that page. So I say custom error. And I just write age validation error. Now, in a window on a record page or as an inline error on a field, and I would like to display this error message next to date of birth. Here we can just define the error message. We enter an error message with no more than 255 characters. I say age cannot be less than 25. And Fine. So I display this error message and this error message will be displayed. Age cannot be less than 25. Save this. Now I want to validate this. So for validation purpose, see, I haven't activated this, but to validate this, uh, let me quickly modify one record. And you can see I'm going to modify this record. Right now the age is 42. So if I, and this is candidate number one. So if I debug this, run immediately and candidate number one. So as you can see, because the age is greater than 25, so this flow, uh, this path will be, uh, this path will get triggered. But let me modify this and I just say 2021 and save this record. And now let me debug again for the same record and run and you can see it will execute this path and display a message here. On date of birth field age cannot be less than 25. Now let's, uh, so we have tested it successfully. Now let's activate it and check it on a record itself. So this is the record and I'm going to edit this record. So let me edit this record and uh, the age is less than 25. And when I try to save this record, see this age cannot be less than 25. But if I say 1980, then it will not throw any error message. So that's the way we can use or we can use a flow and we can display a custom error message on a flow. So that's all in this video. If you like this, don't forget to press the like button. You can post your comment in comment box. And yes, those who haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, press the bell icon so you'll get the updates on the latest videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.